everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bit of a challenge video. I wanted to see if I could create an artwork using mainly these washi tapes. Now if you're not sure what washi tape is, it is basically pretty coloured and patterned uh, sticky tape and you can use it to like decorate things. But I want to see if I can make an illustration using completely these uh, to colour most of the illustration. Of course I am going to sketch a little bit and uh, depending on how it turns out I might actually add line art at the end but we're using these mainly to color the artwork. Now I'm not sure how this is going to go. I actually feel a little bit apprehensive uh, at this task mainly because these colors are really really nice but they're also a little bit similar to each other a lot of them are very soft colors and then sort of busy patterns so I'm not sure how I actually am going to make this into an illustration so without further ado let's just get right into it and I'm gonna create something so as you can see I have been uh, creating an illustration usually what happens on my channel <laughs> I ended up struggling as I thought I would uh, with the colors and stuff I kind of had a concept in mind that I wanted to do for this illustration and I didn't really think too much about it because uh, there was a problem that I realized too late into the illustration process but we'll get to that soon but yeah this challenge mainly involves uh, doing a light sketch first and then adding washi tapes down to areas which you want to color and after that you go in with an exacto knife or a craft blade or something like that and you cut around the edges where you want uh, to have the color stay and then after that you peel off the excess and you have this nice big piece of brightly colored uh, part that you didn't exactly have to draw which is great because uh, it's you know kind of easy to, to get a really nice sort of repeating pattern and it's kind of fun it makes me feel a bit crafty to be honest and I don't really do overly crafty stuff on my channel but it's pretty good it, it was really really fun however the few problems which I had was I'm not the best at cutting with an exacto knife and when you're doing really really tiny uh, sort of details with this it kind of ends up a little bit difficult <laughs> other than that I had a few problems as you can probably tell right now with the illustration is uh, the lack of contrast and the lack of value as I said before a lot of these uh, colors are very sort of light and they're, they are different colors, but they're still very similar in value. They're very sort of light, soft, uh, sort of pastel colors, which I love, by the way. But when you have an illustration like fully with only that, it can get a little bit dull and boring. <laughs> But um, I tried to compensate with that with using that sort of really bright reflective gold color which can sort of count as a dark color as well but that was kind of I'm, I don't know I'm not overly into the look of it I'm not a big fan of how much it stands out because the rest is so uh, pastel now there was something which I realized I could have done afterwards which I didn't do <laughs> and that was to give this woman clothes now the story behind this illustration was that she is a lady and she is going swimming in a sort of either a really really big lake or the ocean I'm not sure and yeah this dragon sort of watery serpenty dragon thing swims up to her and swims around her just investigating seeing what she is and yeah she is naked now, there's nothing wrong with being naked. There's nothing wrong with swimming naked. Uh, people do that. It's not a sexual thing. It's not a bad thing, as long as it's legal. <laughs> I just really felt like not giving her clothes. But the problem with not giving her clothes was that I missed out on using all of those sort of pretty uh, interesting patterns on the washi tapes. Now I did use a lot of patterns on the dragon as you can see but she is mainly skin color because she's 
wearing skin. That's it. <laughs> um, and I really was excited to find a skin color in the washi tapes. And I kind of went a little bit crazy because I was like, hell yeah, this is, this is cool. I can actually use this nice soft skin color. And it worked really, really well. But I could have given her a shirt or something with a really pretty floral pattern on it, which I do have, which I just didn't use for some reason. And I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't use it when I could have. But anyways, I really wanted to do it this way because it was just a funny story and it's sort of what I envisioned the artwork to be in the beginning. <laughs> But you know what, I'm not mad, I'm not salty or anything. I do like the final results, even though uh, it kind of could have been a little bit more interesting. But anyways, what do you guys think? Do you like this? Do you think like it could have done better? Do you think it looks cool? Do you like the, the repeating patterns on the dragon? I really like the scaly patterns. I, I loved doing that. I thought it was really fun. I'm actually kind of tempted to try this again. I know I just did it, but I'm like, you know what? Could I do better? I'm not too sure. <laughs> so let me know below, guys, if you want me to try it again and see if I can do better. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't already, check out my last video. I made a dragon sculpture and it took me 18 hours and everyone seemed to love that video and I loved making it so much so I just wanted to remind you guys if you haven't seen it go check it out because you're missing out if you don't and yeah thank you so much for watching I love you guys so much you are the most supportive community and I don't know what I would do without you guys so yeah have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video bye everyone